going to show you how to play the game. So first of all, you need four different kinds of um, cards or dollar with different decorations. And then you need a coding and decoding chart, which somebody uses to code and somebody uses to decode. And then you need a pouch to randomize. Then you need a board. And also you need a place on the board to set the key. So first of all, let's set the key. So to set the key, you take four different cards, four different dollar with four different decorations. Um, okay, so the first one is the X-shaped one called Chiluwe. This is based on Kalanga divination shapes, but in the board game, I actually didn't use Kalanga divination shapes because I didn't want to use actual shapes. Um, out of respect from for the dollars of Akalaka. Okay, so then the next one is Lume. I showed you that one. Next one is called Ntakwala, which is this shape. So it goes in there, that's the third one. <clears throat> the fourth one is this house shaped one called Kwami. And then we put it in there. So We have four different ditaola in the pouch. Then you shake. You can blow in if you want to be dramatic, but I'm just going to shake. Okay. So then without looking, you pick out the first ditaola. The first one I picked out is this wave shape one. So that's going to be one. Second one is this one so that's going to be two for this key we're setting the key and then third one is the house shaped one so that's three fourth one is the x shaped one so that's four so we've set the key for the coder and then now we quickly set the same key for the decoder so that they can memorize it while we're coding on their own so Lume is two according to this key and then the house shape is three according to this key and then this X shape is four according to this key so now we've set the key as you see for the decoder to memorize so they'll memorize there on their own while we code so how do you code? So to code, <clears throat> you use the coding and decoding chart like I told you. So let's code a nice short English word. So I'm going to code VI, which means uh, to strive for victory. So V is 1420. That means that one is looking up. And then four from this key is the X shape. So that's one, four. And then two is Lume. That's our two for this key. Uh, and then zero means any Taula facing down. So we can put any dollar there facing down. So that's V. Now the next letter, which goes on the second row, is I. So 0100. Zero, zero, zero. I is 0100. Zero, zero, zero. So 0 means any dollar looking down. So that's 0. And then 1 is the wavy shaped shape. So that's 1. And then 0, 0. Two dollar looking down. So we're done with I. Now we code the last letter, which is E, and that goes in the bottom row. E is zero zero one zero. So zero is any dollar facing down. Zero any dollar facing down, and then one is the wave 
V and that voila. So we put that facing up. If one is face is is there, then you have to put the one facing up. And then zero means any towel are looking down. So for our letter we have um, V is one four two zero and then I zero one zero zero and then E is zero zero one zero. So we've written the word by and now the decoder has been memorizing the key while we were coding. So you have to code fast so that you don't give the decoder a lot of time to memorize. So now when you're done memorizing, then we have to hide all the keys that we have. So we hide the one on the board and then we also hide the one that they were looking at. Okay, so all the keys are hidden now. So now the person who decodes has to take the coding and decoding tab and then use their memory to remember which shape was one, which shape was two, which shape was three, which shape was four. So now they have to do it from memory. So um, they look here. I didn't memorize the code, so I'll look. So this is one, two. Uh, this is one, four, two, zero. That means that is V. So from memory, the person would write, would, would see that this is V and then put V here. And then the next one is zero, one, zero, zero. You look up what zero, one, zero, zero is. That's I, so you put I. And then the next one, zero, zero, then the shape is up, then zero. So remember what shape that represented. From here, you can tell that this is one, so this is zero, zero, one, zero. So that means it's E. So then you write by. So if you're playing with children, then you can teach them that by is a word that means to strive for victory. So you can improve children's vocabulary while playing this game with them. So now that round is done. So then we can, if, if just two people play, we can switch roles. The person who has the coder becomes the decoder, then the decoder becomes the coder. So in that case, then you would put the, all the cards back into the separate um, packets and then start all over, set a new key and then give the decoder a key, the same key to memorize. And then while they're memorizing, you use the coding and decoding chart to make up a word for them. And then when they're ready, they can you can hide the keys and they can look. So I hope that makes sense. Thanks.